Although no foreign leaders were able to attend President Tsai's inauguration due to the pandemic, many sent their good wishes virtually. The leaders of Taiwan's diplomatic allies congratulated Tsai in a video that was broadcast during the inauguration ceremony. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo made a statement on social media congratulating Tsai on her second term. Pompeo said that under Tsai's leadership, Taiwan and the U.S. would continue to grow closer in the years ahead. I sent this message to join the people of Taiwan in congratulating you for the peaceful election. The king of Eswatini and other foreign leaders appeared in a video congratulating Tsai on her inauguration. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this year the presidential office did not invite foreign officials to the ceremony. Instead, representatives from Taiwan's 15 diplomatic allies and from 50 friendly nations wish the president well in video format. We will continue to press other countries and organizations like the WHO to put human lives above politics and to choose freedom over repression. The coronavirus pandemic has put Taiwan in the global limelight, with international support for Taiwan at an all-time high. U.S. Secretary of State Pompeo issued a press statement congratulating Tsai on the commencement of her second term as Taiwan's president. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says Taiwan and the U.S. have a shared vision for the Indo-Pacific region. He reaffirmed that Taiwan's pandemic response model was worthy of emulation for the international community. Lastly, he remarks that with President Tsai at the helm, the U.S.'s partnership with Taiwan will continue to flourish. Pompeo has congratulated Tsai on Twitter, saying that Taiwan's vibrant democracy was an inspiration to the region and to the world. He said Taiwan-U.S. relations would continue growing under Tsai's leadership. President Tsai responded to Pompeo thanking him for his good wishes. She wrote, The Taiwan-U.S. partnership is strong and full of promise. I look forward to furthering our friendship based on our many shared values and interests. Over at the Taipei Guest House, Tsai received officials from foreign representative offices in Taiwan. No hands were shaking at the event in compliance with social distancing, but it was still a warm gathering of friends.